Hello everyone and welcome to another session for self-healing and self-empowerment. My name is Martin Feigl. I'm based here in Austria in Graz. I'm a business trainer, I'm a health trainer, I'm a coach in mental health and uh, have a quite long experience in that, more than 25 years in the meanwhile that I'm helping people to progress, that I'm helping people focusing on their goals and reaching their goals. Some are just interested in the support of the mental level. Some want to go deeper, some want to heal, some want to transform issues in their life. And so I also picked up a topic for the start of the week today, which I feel might be quite interesting. Um, of course, I'm also having so my interests in daily life. So one of my interests is playing a little bit of basketball and following uh, basketball around the world. So uh, as an Austrian in this little country, I have not this big variety of international uh, outstanding players, but there is one. Uh, Jakob Beltl is one of the players which is playing in Toronto, Canada. He's Austrian and uh, he is a center in the Toronto Raptors. And he, yeah, he's doing very well. He has great success in his center position, but now this year, and I'm from time to time had contact with his mother just to see if they would be interested in what we are doing. And this year I discovered that he had already three little injuries. And uh, in, in the German speaking, you say, uh, you have injury bad luck. So it's a very interesting expression that you kind of, it's more on the surface, this expression, but it's an expression of the common German that you say, okay, you kind of attract injuries right now. And there is something, maybe you could look at it. So I also wanted to see what can we learn from the traditional Chinese medicine, what can we learn from the teachings that our teacher, Dr. Master Shah, who is an amazing medical doctor in traditional Chinese medicine and also in Western medicine. And he's combining both sides to one and he's also bringing a new way of self-healing and self-empowerment uh, on Mother Earth. But what, what can we learn from all the ancient modalities, it's very interesting because all traditional Chinese medicines, all ways of traditional medicine in general, are working with natural aspects of living, natural aspects of healing. So one famous aspect, of course, are the five elements. Another aspect is the aspect of yin and yang. So there are many observations which are going back over already more than 5,000 years in the Chinese tradition that are observing what is happening into the nature and also discovering that this is happening within us also. So very fascinating to discover that. So if we look at like a really professional athlete and Jakob is playing since 2016 and the NBA, the National Basketball Association. Uh, his success is quite good. As a center, he's doing very well. But as I said, this year already the third injury. So what can we learn out of that? These guys, these people having, of course, the best medical support. They have the best support in therapies. They have the best support in physical uh, ways. They have maybe found also other ways what they feel the fit to their to their mentality to support themselves. But what I like to also include in this suggestion for high professional athletes is to take in consideration that there is more. So what is there more? If we look deeper here at the medical part, we could watch watch it from from different perspectives. We could watch it also from a perspective where I see that the traditional Chinese medicine and also Ayurveda and other modalities are using this part. 
So it's the discovery that everything is made of Shen Chi Ching. And also our life, our body, our system has these layers of connections inside of us. So a very simple explanation is that our physical body is made of matter and energy. So this is made, this makes and creates our physical experience. But also, since already 5,000 years, we see it in the books of traditional Chinese medicine, there's also a deeper level. There is the message level also. And that's why we see different approaches in medicine already. We see the modern approach of the so-called Western medicine, which works on the meta level, like for a professional athlete, uh, that's their physiotherapists, that's the, the MDs who are supporting them. Maybe they are using also traditional medicine, like Ayurveda or TCM, the traditional Chinese medicine. And this is really important because the discovery is very clear that the energy is responsibility for what happens in the meta level. So it's of course nice and good to have specialists on the surface, but it's always better to go deeper and to have always also specialists on the energy level. And if we would look at the deepest level, there is an information level. And that's very fascinating. I've been speaking about that on many occasions already. I've been speaking about that on uh, medical congresses in India or Sri Lanka, where I've been invited. And it's always the same principle that it's important to understand that wherever the energy flows, the matter goes. So if we have a positive free energy flow, also our physical body is in a state of self-adjustment, self-healing, transformation, whatever is needed. And we know it from different aspects of mental health and mindfulness trainings. Also our mind can be part of a strong output. So if our mind is very strong and positive, we can consciously guide the energy. We can consciously find ways to get into new goals, to reach goals, to find aspects that are very helpful for us. But if we look deeper, it's not always that we went deeper before. And first in the book Tao Science, where Dr. Master Shah and Dr. Rulin, Dr. Rulin Shu, a quantum physicist, uh, went deeper. There was this deeper explanation. What is there? What is deeper? And on a deeper level, it's our heart. On a deeper level, it's what is there, what feels inside of us. On a deeper level, it's, okay, how, how could we attract of more what we wish into our life? And the, that's the big way where the heart works. The heart can really attract as a magnet so many beautiful things in our life. And in a spiritual term of view, we would also see that there is a spirit in everything. Everyone has a soul. Everyone has a spirit inside of you. You may go deeper with the connection. You may just feel it. Both is fine. It's just important to know that there is a special connection between all of us and all these components of us and if you don't want to talk too spiritual about it then just say information so this information inside of you is one way where you can really look at it and see what's happening in your life so like an example of having many injuries as a sports athlete you could have a look what happened there is there any kind of way that is kind of blocking the chi. If the chi is blocked, the energy is blocked inside of you, you might experience physical problems. You might experience sudden injuries that will lead to like ankle problems or <clears throat> problems with any parts of the body. And they could also result already from an energy blockage. Sometimes you are reflecting and sometimes you go deeper and have a look. Okay. Is there something with my consciousness? Is there something where I maybe had some 
difficulties inside of me, in my mind, even deeper in the subconsciousness, heart and soul. Is there anything which is not really supportive to what I'm doing right now? Because in this way, it might be very fast that we are experience also these problems in daily life. And as a sports athlete, as I said, uh, of course you could say, oh, I had bad luck again. Or, yeah, that's uh, not a good time for me right now, whatever. But there is some very clear processes behind that we can discover where it comes from. And mostly it starts here at this so-called information level. So whatever we speak about bad luck, it is that there is at the foundation a certain information which is causing all these developments in my life. Very easily spoken, we would talk about it. There is something subconsciously deeper than our consciousness where there is anything which is the root cause of this trouble in my life, which is even the root cause of a sudden injury, which is even the root cause of heavy accidents. And I could tell you hours of, of stories in my life where I discovered how accidents happened and how even how I survived because there was on both sides some information that of course caused it and also some information that helped me to go healthy through it. So understanding this part is super, super, super helpful because if you understand that there is a deeper level of a root cause inside of me, then I can become happier, healthier, or as a sports athlete, uh, even more productive, more protected against injuries, or even more supported if there happened something, like I mentioned before, with our Austrian basketball player as an example. So if there would be a chance to talk with people like in these situations, they experienced injuries, then we could go deeper and see, okay, where do we need to start to bring this positive energy and information flow again into our body? And in very easy ways, we can find out where to start, where to do it, how to do it. And um, yeah, help in this way, the body in a very easy, effective, and for me, what's also personally important for me, sustainable way to support ourselves, not only in self-transformation, what's happening right now, but also to prevent things that might, might come again. So that's why I started with this sentence. We are calling sometimes for professional athletes, their situation that they are having injury bad luck. But that's not bad luck. There is something inside of us already which is causing these patterns. And this is where I like to go with you through to today and do some practices which are very helpful in that. Of course, from the part of the um traditional medicines we know there are these discoveries already of yin and yang there are discoveries already uh, of different energy flows and if they are not working how does it affect us so this principle of yin and yang for example is such a profound principle of our physical body and of our whole life so if we understand it even a little bit deeper, we see that we are having certain energies which are maintaining our health, which are preventing us from outside factors, so-called pathogens, to come in. We are having here also different energies inside of us, which are helping that our physical body is working well. And in this way, it's very easy to understand what can we do if we see that there is something happening. Like I mentioned the athlete before, if something happens on a physiological level, if there is something which has 
kind of difficulties to function right, then it's most likely related to a deficiency of the young inside of us. Very easy to understand for athletes, they are giving always their best, they are pushed to, to, to deliver their physical uh, success. And of course, it might be draining at a certain level, or there could have been that from outside some pathogens, that's so-called some outside uh, negative influences like viruses or whatever are coming into the body. And then this balance of yin and yang gets disturbed. So one part can be to support professional sports athletes or professionals who are having lots of physical activities, or if yourself are having lots of physical activities, or you discover for yourself that your own physiological functioning has some weaknesses right now, then one part can be to see how can I balance the yin and yang inside of me better. And there are easy ways to do that. And if we go there, we see even more. We see it's not important that you understand it right now, but we see that this yin yang goes through all parts of our body. And it even goes to different aspects of our life, like success and, and business development. So it's very important to understand that this yin and yang inside of us has the power to create a healthy body, has the power to prevent and protect us from things outside the so-called pathogens. And if we are protected well, and if we are functioning inside well, then our system can work properly. So this yin-yang disharmony, which can be discovered through illnesses, through, of course, even accidents and injuries for physiological underfunctioning, there is only the sign, okay, we can do something to help our body to become more balanced again and to become stronger again. And even if we look outside, like um, I'm always very interested in, in seeing what others are doing. So one of the great examples for me is, is also David Meltzer. Uh, he has an amazing life behind him. And he's in the middle of it. And uh, his greatest wish is that he wants to inspire people. He's a sports agent. And uh, you might know this movie with uh, Tom Cruise from uh, 1916, 1996. So where his company, where he was the CEO, was the inspiration for this film of Jerry Maguire, a sports agent who had an athlete in uh, this way, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. And they filmed a very interesting aspect of the sports life back then. So David Meltzer today is a very renowned speaker. His mission is to empower people to become happier and uh, successful from inside out and he wants to create so much value to the world that he is now really one of the top 100 or not even 100 top one top 10 speakers of the forbes magazine so what can we learn from him he started not to do too many practices but he did something very special he started to work with Tao calligraphies. And uh, this was a kind of interesting coincident for him because his former book agent started to share about a Chinese teacher who had special qi practices. 
So David Meltzer went to difficult times in his life. You could watch this movie also later in the internet. So he had a difficult childhood and also becoming uh, successful was not always that easy. So he had this time where he was super successful, could buy anything in his life, was everywhere successful in private life. And then came a point, and now there's this sports agency with uh, the movie we mentioned before, but he felt that there was missing something. And at the end, he found it in the support and in the teaching of Dr. and Master Shigang Sha. So learning from a very spiritual and uh, fundamental educated teacher like Dr. Sha is very precious because he can tell you how to support yourself, how to heal yourself. He can tell you new ways where you can enter a, a new, totally new way of self-empowerment and self-healing. So this is what we like to do now. We like to start with a very easy practice to boost and to increase our energy flow. So as I showed with you before, you don't need to understand everything right now. But the most important part is that we need to understand that there is a deeper energy flow inside of us who can be disturbed. And if it's disturbed, our body starts to under-functioning, our body starts to not be protected by the immune system that well, and then difficulties can start. So what we will do now is we will move to a special practice, a so-called chi practice, a practice that helps you to move your chi, that helps you to move the energy inside of you. And this is the so-called Qi channel practice. And if you take now a comfortable position for you, then we really can do something special. We can go deeper in our body to help energy blockages be removed. And so the Qi can flow freely. And if the chi can flow freely, you will discover that your body will be more happier and more productive, more efficient, more functioning, more healthy in a way that the self-healing ability is on its fullest potential. So starting the day with a chi channel practice is one of the keys I really recommend to everyone. So let's do that. We will use visualizations inside of us to build the light inside of us, growing, starting from the first chakra and then going back to or going up to the highest chakras and going back to the backside, going down and therefore closing a circle. We will chant some mantras. So just enjoy, relax and have some great fun in self-healing and supporting your body in self-balancing. So if you can sit upright, then sit upright. If you want to stand, stand. Whatever you like to do, you will find now a great way in supporting ourselves for a better energy flow. Hey, first chakra. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. And now we move to the second. One hand stays at the first. The other goes with the second. Oh. 
Ong Hong 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 so one hand can move to the fourth chakra. Ah. 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 She 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 Backside, the whole backside. Yo. 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 Now we move the chi through the body. Hey, hung hung, I see wong you. 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 
，黑烘烘啊，西翁哟。黑烘烘啊，西翁哟！黑烘烘啊，西翁哟！黑烘烘啊，西翁哟！And we can continue with this beautiful mantra. Hey, hung hung a shi wong yu. Hey, hung hung a shi wong yu. Hey, hung hung a shi wong yu. Hey, hung hung a shi. Just see if you can move the light. If you can move the chi inside of you, it's the Chong Meridian, the Core Meridian, the Center Meridian. It's a deep knowledge about the meridians that we have. Also, this core inside of us, that there is a main meridian inside of us. And we activate it with this mantra. We activate it with the imagination of the light flow. Hey, hung hung a shi wong yu. In silence, hey, hung hung a shi wong yu. One loud, one silence. Yin yang alternation. Hey, hung hung a shi wong yu. Hey, hung hung a shi wong yu. Hey, hung hung a shi wong yu. Hey, hung hung. And as you see, also many calligraphies behind me. Let's include everything that can support us. A Tao calligraphy is literally bringing us the Tao source frequency and vibration to support us. So we can, of course, connect with Mother Earth. We can connect with the Sun. We can connect with the universe. But if we can receive the highest support, it's the support. From this highest energy fields out there, and the Tao calligraphy is connecting us with it. So let's use the Dai first. The Dai Tao calligraphy. Please help us to move the Chi inside of us. Please help us to see if there are any Chi blockages that could be cleared. And if so, then let's move the light, the chi, through our body, and inside of us down again. So this chi circle, that this chi circle is really very active and can let the chi flow freely. So we can do it also in a standing position. In this way, we want to get the field of this calligraphy. To use the field and bring it inside of us, so we do the same like bringing the energy up, but instead of going down on our spinal cord, we're bringing the energy up and going outside to the calligraphy field, and then going inside again, outside through the calligraphy field, going inside again, outside through the calligraphy. Going inside again, and you can bend your knees in this practice a little bit. Bring the chi up through your meridians, going out into the calligraphy field. And one very helpful part is that you imagine you hold a ball, you hold a light ball actually, and this ball moves through your body. Moves and 
moves the chi and gets fresh chi out of the calligraphy and brings this fresh energy inside of you so that the chi flow is promoted and easier to nourish our body. So you're always receiving fresh light, fresh chi from the calligraphy, bring it inside of you, going outside again. Hey hum hum na shi wong yu. Hey hum hum na shi wong yu. Hey hum hum na shi wong yu. Hey hung hung na shi wong yu. Hey hung hung na shi wong yu. Hey hung hung na shi wong yu. It's a good discovery if you feel that there is some heat developing. It's a good discovery if you feel that there is some tingling somewhere. And it might be that you feel this chi flowing freely and it's getting warmer inside of you. That's what we want to promote. We want to promote that your own chi flow gets activated again. This is what you like to do every morning. If you do it in silence, you maybe can focus even more. If you close your eyes, then it's even easier to feel that you really can move something inside of you. And 
If you come to a final position, you always hold the chi, hold the light ball in front of your lower abdomen. And another moving practice could be that you move now with this light ball through the calligraphy pathway. So you move with the ball through the calligraphy. You're still holding the ball, you're holding the light, you're holding your chi, and then you move through this pathway of the Tao calligraphy. The meaning of it is Da I, greatest love. So we are connecting with the greatest universal love. And with this chi ball in our hands, we are gathering this message for us. We are collecting as much as possible universal love, because love is always healing and transforming. So if we wish to support our physical body, our emotional, mental body, it's always good to enter the field of greatest love. And in this way of tracing with the ball, done tracing called, we are even connecting deeper with the transformative field of a Tao calligraphy. And we can collect this most positive information and most positive energy. And in this way, we are using a complementary approach to all what we are doing already. To honor every what we are, everything we are doing already, we honor all the medical treatments we are using, all the therapists doing an amazing job. But if we are not using this, we are missing a lot. I would say we are missing the really most important part. So you want to find a way to really gather and receive the highest positive information and the highest positive chi for your life. If you want to heal, if you want to transform, if you want to become successful, if you want to have a happy relationship, it starts always at the same level. It starts at the highest positive information. And if you can access it, if you can integrate it in your life, in your body, your body will follow, your life will follow with success and happiness. Looks maybe interesting now for someone who is here for the first time. But the fantastic thing is it's so easy. Just need a Tao calligraphy, you just need a book with a Tao calligraphy in and you can do the practice. And you're adding maybe more than a half of a powerful practice that you did before, like every physical practice is fine. Every therapy is fine. Every physiotherapy is fine. Every massage is fine. But if you haven't used Tao calligraphy, you're missing a part because you're missing the source of everything. That's why you want to integrate the Tao calligraphy practice in anything you do. Because you're integrating the source in your life, in your business life, in your professional life, in your health life, in your emotional life, wherever you want to flourish, wherever you want to be happier, healthier, successful. So just connect with the Tao calligraphy through tracing, through following the pathway of the Tao calligraphy. 
And at the end, if you reach the end, then you just go into your first position again. And it might be that you feel it. It might be that you can feel that there is something stronger now here. One way is always to hold it some centimeters in front of you. Then you can feel it more. I can feel the tingling here. I can feel this sensation here, this energy here. If you repeat this practice a few times, it will be easy to feel it. And just breathe in and out. Breathe in also into this field now. You collected the highest information, the highest positive energy, frequency and vibration, and now you can really breathe it in. You breathe down to this field, you breathe down to the lower abdomen, and you absorb it inside of you. So breathe in and absorb it, breathe in and absorb it. And at the end, you can sit down, but still hold the bowl. Hold the bowl and sit down and let the bowl shrink down or come more condensed like you're holding it closer. You're holding your hands in front of your lower abdomen. And you just breathe in and out very easily and integrate this highest positive energy and information. And if you feel like you want to just relax, then bring your hands to your lower abdomen, just hold your belly, bring it to you. And we will do a final practice to receive all the light which is there for us through the calligraphy. We will use in this way a Tao calligraphy, which is called Tao calligraphy for the back. But it's not only meant to be the back, not only the physical back. Because from the wisdom of traditional Chinese medicine, we know that the backside is connected to the yang energy. And usually, if we need more yang, more light inside of us, then yeah, it's always good to use this Tao calligraphy wherever you have challenges. So if you have challenges in relationships, it's perfect. If you have challenges in a physical part of your body, it's perfect. Then you just use this calligraphy practice. And uh, yeah, let's absorb the light which is there for us. Let's gather all the light which is given to us from a Tao calligraphy in this way, from the Tao calligraphy of and supporting the back. So let's move to this practice to close our day. Daily start into the morning. So related to this wonderful book, there's a website where you can find all these practices we did today. And now we will finally move into the nourishment for the week or for the day if you started your day or if it's night for you, and you just let go, whatever happened today. It's a beautiful way of, again, self-heal, self-empower. Just enjoy. Please put your mind in the area in your back. Or you put your mind in an area where you need it. The back is, of course, one way to focus on if you have back pain. 
That's where the book is written for, but you can use it for any aspect of your life, as I said. You're breathing in the light of the Tao calligraphy and breathing out whatever is there as a blockage. So you just let go and get in the highest positive support. And then you let go whatever was there as a blockage and you breathe in and out again. Deep inhale. Tao Bei. Deep inhale. Tao back. Deep inhale. Tao Bei. Deep inhale. Tao back. Deep inhale. Tao bay. 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 Deep inhale. 
Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale. Doll back. Deep inhale to the area where you need support. Oh, baby. Inhale to the area where you need support. Oh, baby. Oh, baby.
just feel now how do you feel spritz zum abschluss kurz rein just feel at the end Feel inside of you. How is the feeling? Can you feel that there is more chi inside of you? That there is more life force? And wherever it is, just you can also wrap this area and give this area a final. Yeah, love and support and light wherever you want to support you. And at the end, you can always shake you a little bit or stretch you a little bit, whatever feels good for you. You can roll your shoulders. You can open the arms wide to stretch you again. And above. Whatever feels good. And take some relaxing breaths in and out. Yeah. And maybe you discover yourself in a new way right now. You discover yourself with more energy, with more light inside of you, with more ability to move forward wherever you like to move. And there are so many beautiful calligraphies and books where we can get all these informations out and where we can really do so much for our self-healing journey, self-transformation journey, self-empowerment journey, or to help others with it. So I'm deeply grateful that you spent this hour with me. Thank you so much. We thank you for all the support we have received. Thank you from all around the world for connecting. It was great to have you here in this practice together. So beautiful to see you from around the world, from Australia, from England, from Toronto, from Albania, from Austria, from Germany. Thank you everyone for joining. I hope I did not miss any country. So sending you much, much love. And of course, if you want to share anything, feel free to give me a sign that you had some insights or had some realizations or had some, yeah, way of experiencing something special. Then you always can let me know and turn on the camera and we open the mics and you let me know what was your experience. A realization. Many lines of gratitude. Thank you, Lida. Thank you. And lots of appreciation back. The same to Maria, Karen. Yeah. Sending you all much, much love back. Wishing you a beautiful start into the week. Love you very much and have a great day. Bye bye.